So while we're still trying to figure out exactly why Superman Returns was not a box office hit and it was actually a flop and it lost a lot of money, I'm still doing my research and find, finding more stuff about this movie as the time passes by, as the time goes. There's just more stuff coming out about this movie. Um, we're just trying to figure out as we go. This is why I'm here. I'm just trying to do my research on everything, trying to collect data, you know, trying to collect everything that I can on why this movie was not the hit that Warner Brothers was expecting. As the time passed by, it's still weird that, you know, people are still, um, you know, so-called Superman fans are trying to have a movie exactly like Superman Returns, which they had it back in 2006 when it came out and it did not do good at all at the box office. It lost a lot of money for the movie. The movie had a huge um, budget to be made. It was not a cheap movie, you know, didn't really did anything for the movie when it came to the box office and they didn't really make nothing back. Um, is just crazy to me because the movie really had it all you know every, everything that people tweet about nowadays about superman having the, the tr uh, red trunks it was there you know about the, the same tweets that they tweak about um the daily planet um, globe should be on top of the building that was in the movie <laughs> and, and again the movie still fell with all this stuff just you had the goofy um clark can again it's it's weird tweets like this that are <laughs> They're, they're funny to me because while, you know, even in Superman 78, the globe from the Daily Planet was not outside at all. It was actually inside the building, just the same way it was in Man of Steel. But of course, they don't talk about Superman 1978 because that's their, you know, that's their, their main Superman for a lot of the Superman so-called fanatics. But yeah, they got Superman Return, which it was literally supposed to be a sequel to Superman 2. Um, you can look that up to, you know, Ryan Singer himself, I believe he said that in one of the interviews. And that's the reason why that movie feels literally like a sequel to Superman, um, you know, from 1978 and Superman 2. You had um, Brandon Ruth, you know, acting like Christopher Reeves. It was a copy and paste. The same thing from John Williams was in the movie. Um, again, they, this movie sounds to me like it had everything that everybody wants now on a Superman movie. But in my opinion, if the movie didn't succeed, you know, if the movie didn't, if the movie wasn't a big hit back then, I don't really think it's gonna be a big hit now. I don't really, the thing with Superman, me as a huge Superman fan, I love Superman. You know, I mainly grew up with Superman from the animated show in the 90s, you know, to reading comics as, as I was getting older. So it's just weird to me that people still think that a copy and paste thing will actually, you know, from 1978 will actually do money now don't get me wrong, you know, Superman the movie, you know, it's amazing, you know, it was one of the first superhero movies ever made, but it's an outdated movie. It's a movie that is that it would not work now. It's not going to work now. And, you know, one of the reasons why I also say that you got to compare Superman Returns numbers to, to Men of Steel, you know, um, thanks to a tweet from Twitter, I just got this last night. So according to this person here, um, uh, he told me that Spectre Creative, hopefully I'm saying that right, on his channel, this person used to work for Mattel. I don't know if he still works for Mattel, but at least he used to work for Mattel. And in some of his videos, which I did my research right away, he did say that the Superman Return figures, well, they, were, they were also a flop. But unfortunately, because the movie didn't meet financial expectations at the box office, it meant the toy line didn't do well either. Likewise, in the world of DC, looking at Superman Returns, which uh, came out a few years before Green Lantern, this was also one that Mattel, if you will, bet on and assumed, well, the recognition of Superman, the fact that he's back on the big screen after decades off, this is an easy movie to bet on and will do great at the box office and the toys will do huge. Well, not so much. My point about this is that Superman Return was a flop in every way. This movie lost 
millions of dollars in not if not a billion at least you know for Warner Brothers they lost money a lot of money to to make this movie and and, and you know in my opinion this movie should have had made a lot of money because like I said according to twist nowadays everything that everybody's asking for a Superman movie was literally in this movie so what happened you get what I'm saying is to something that I'm trying to show people you can not just tweet stuff without thinking without doing your research they have that stuff actually work before at the box office you get what I'm saying in 1978 the, the budget for Superman the movie was only like 50 million dollars to, to be made of course it was way less than making a movie now because it was you know back in the 70s of course 50 millions back then was a lot of money but you know my, my, my point to all this is that while that movie made a lot of money back um, I still don't really not really sure how much it made um, because I there's been a lot of inflation with that mo uh, the box office numbers since then, so I don't really know what was the exact numbers back then or what it made at the box office. But you can't compare that to now. You you, you made you gotta make movies. You know, a superhero movie will easily come close to two hundred million dollars or more to be made. So again, I don't. You know, there's there's a lot going on with James Gunn taking over the studio, and you know, people already kind of expecting that he's gonna go back to the old school Superman, the, all the stuff that they want, which I just don't think is gonna work because if it haven't worked before, what will make me think that it will work now? On top of that, you know, I share uh, a deleted scene from Superman Returns that cost the studio about 10 to 11 million dollars to be made. And Warner Brothers, of course, being Warner Brothers, they deleted that scene from the movie. And, you know, as I've seen from, from my tweet, a lot of people didn't even knew about this scene. It's just crazy to me that, you know, a studio will go, go out of their way to to waste 10 to 11 million dollars on a scene to then delete it it's like this is a studio that just loves love losing money they love throwing away money you know i already made a video about the the history of, of wb and superman is it's not a good history at all um obviously the warner brothers don't really have a good history with dc but mainly with superman you know that's another video that I made. If you want to check it out, you can go over there. So again, you know, I'm here to to show you guys. I really don't think Superman, you know, 78 will work now. It worked back then because again, it was the first superhero movie ever made. Um, it was the first time that, you know, it, it was that the budget was really good on the movie. You, you know, the, the effects was it was pretty you know it was pretty good for for the times it was something new it was something fresh so again if superman returns didn't work at all it's because it felt outdated in, in my opinion there was only like one great scene in superman returns and also of course the airplane scene but besides that the movie is very dry the movie is, is very slow you literally have this picture here. This picture was made years ago <laughs> from, I don't really know who made this, but it's true what the picture says. You know, they're comparing Superman Returns to Man of Steel. The stuff that they have problems with Superman Returns, they fix in Man of Steel, but according to them now, you know, according to, to people on, on the web is, you know, Man of Steel was still a problem. At this point, what do they really want? Again, uh, you know, all this is just my thoughts on Superman Returns and on the reasons why it flopped. So please, yeah, le let me know what you think about all this. Let me know why, why do you think Superman Returns was a flop, you know, box office wise, um, merchandise wise. Why do you think Superman Returns was not a hit where it should have been a huge hit because it's exactly the Superman movie that 
people are asking for now. So yeah, thank you everyone and have a great one.